everyone, today we are going to be doing some awesome back to school shopping. For this today, we are going to Target and basically just looking around for back to school supplies and stuff. And I will be bringing you all, showing you what I got and bringing you all on a little trip to Target with me so we can get ready for the school year. And we're basically looking for the main things like tons of notebooks, binders and stuff like that. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. Hey everyone, so we're currently in the store and there is quite a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff is actually empty, but you know, let's not worry about that. There is a bunch of stuff here and we are just going to look around and I don't think we're following a specific theme. So it will just kind of go wherever we want it to, if you guys know what I mean. Like we find one cute thing and then another and we just put it all together at the end for no specific aesthetic or anything like that. Hey everyone, and I'm gonna show you everything that we got from Target here for the back to school shopping spree slash haul thingamajig. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Our first item today, wait, let me just, first item today, besties, is this notebook. And I decided that it just looked really cute. I didn't, we went to Target and then we took a break and went back and I didn't see this at the beginning, but it just, it's really like vibrant colors and stuff. And this is the back of it. As you can see, it has like flower pattern and stuff like that. And it has a pretty hard cover and the inside looks like this, very pink. And also, wait, besties, I gotta show you. It has pink lines. I don't know if you can tell, but the notebook has pink lines. Isn't that just beautiful? And yeah, it just kind of looks like a regular notebook from then on out. And I just really liked the cover, to be honest, especially with the gold spiraling. I think it looks really, really good in my opinion. And this was the first notebook that we got from Target. And I think we got another one kind of like this, but this is like one of my favorites, to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna skizzle that there. Next item. Here is the Target bag. Well, one of them and, okay, wait, that's probably like super loud. Let me just put that there. Putting it down here. There we go, beautiful. Our next item that we got is these, or I should say are these, five tab dividers because I am going to be using a binder this year. I keep track of everything and they come with a pink one and like pastel colors and also darker colors if you guys could see what they look like. And they also have like lines on the back in case you wanna write something. But I love the packaging with the gold thing. I don't even know what this point besties. It's just really good. And I love the packaging, let's be honest. But yeah, I got these four binders in order to keep everything together and stuff like that. So I thought this was a really good idea and it comes with five of them, five of them. So it's a little steel if I do say so myself. And yes, we have 
purple, pink, and stuff like that. And these are just three ring binder kind of whole thingies. So three ring binders, yes. Okay, let me just put that there. This is also on the binder topic, but we got sheet protectors, which is basically, I mean, you could get these anywhere, but these are basically lifting print from photocopies which that makes no sense, but it just protects. You put a paper in this, like after you wrote your notes on it and stuff, and it protects it. And it also has three ring hole punch so you guys can go ahead and use it in your binder. So I thought that was a good idea, especially since I'm going to be using a binder this year to keep track of everything because I don't know, folders and notebooks didn't really work out. So I'm using a binder. How many times have I said that besties? But yes, we got some sheet protectors, which you just put on a piece of paper and it makes it like vinyl and stuff. Well, not vinyl. It makes it like cool and water resistant and also dry erasable. So this is on the binder topic as well. So I'm gonna like try to keep things organized if you got me, because we need to keep things organized for the beginning of the school year, at least for the beginning, okay? <laughs> and guys, besties, I love this notebook. Can I even say how much I love it? But this is like, I don't know why I love this notebook so much. I just saw it there and I love it. I don't even know what to say. It's just a regular notebook. And it looks like this and I don't really know why but I just love it so much. It's kind of simple and I don't know it kind of feels organized if you know what I mean and this is the back of it in case you guys want to see what it looks like. But yeah it has just a gold and kind of navy theme. Again I decided not to go for a theme this year and kind of just got whatever I wanted and this is what the inside of the notebook looks like. Again it's just a regular spiral notebook with note papers and stuff like that. Yeah, this is what the back and front look like together, in case you want to see that. But this is probably another one of my favorites. Okay, my favorite thing about back to school is the notebooks. I just, notebooks are amazing and besties. I can't even compare to notebooks. Notebooks are my life. Getting a little bit too enthusiastic for notebooks there. Our next item is some pretty cool and snazzy pens. I was about to say pencils, but no, besties, they're pens. So this is what they look like, and I usually take notes in a bunch of different colors, so I will show you how they write, but this is how they look like, and I really, really like them. They have so many different colors. The only problem is if I, like, color code stuff in my notes, and usually doesn't work out because, like, one of the pen dies, and then I have to redo a different color, but I'm really excited to test them out and see them. I will test out all the pens at the end of showing this. If you want to stay tuned, for that definitely and see if you want these for yourselves but hashtag not sponsored besties hashtag not but yes these are what the pens look like and we just got a lot of them because you know okay there were a lot of options for planners and i saw this one and i just really love the pink color that it came in so i decided to go for it but this is a 2021 and 2022 planner and this is what it looks like up close kind of has a short design of like circle things and triangles and it has gold can you see that besties wait tell me yay beautiful love that close-up right there but this is what it looks like and i also really love the font on the inside it looks like this you see that but it looks like this not me in the background but yes this is what it looks like and it also has these really cute uh how do i show that really cute side kind of things so i thought this was my my perfect planner because i love pink and uh it kind of matches the wall it literally matches the wall. Okay, I love it for that. Um, Get yourself a planner that matches your wall. Okay, besties, that is what you need to look for when getting one. But yes, this is what I got. Again, I will show it more in close later on. This is going to be my 2021 to 2022 planner. I was about to say 2020, but yeah, this is what the planner looks like. This gets a pile of its own. Back again with another notebook. You guessed it, but on this one there, and I was like, oh my goodness, this isn't a notebook. This is a whole like journal thing. But this is what it looks like. It has a kind of wildflower look to it and kind of gold, kind of just stuff like that. And then if we open it on the inside, oh my goodness, can I just say it looks luxurious. And um, it has a to-do section. And then you can scroll it. It has a note section. And okay, let me just show you this. These little like divide tabs have their own print to them. So I thought that looked really good in my opinion. And again, it's just the notebook section. And here is another section with the print in case you guys want to see that. And in the back, they also have this uh, dotted paper. Dotted paper. We love that, especially for math. And yeah, this is basically what it looks like. But each section has 
a different type of page for you to work off of and work on. So I thought this was a really good notebook. Wait, am I right? And then it has this little cute wrap thing that you just go like this and be like, ah, oh, it's so cute. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is what it looks like on, this is what it looks like and we love it, right? Yes, yes. You will learn to love it. You better learn to love it. So that is another notebook in my notebook file. But this next one are really cool. Can I just say like, where was this a few years ago? But it is highlighters in candy form. They're not candy, don't eat them. But these are what they look like. And they have like a pink and pastel highlighter colors, which we know besties, we love the pastel colors, but this is what it looks like everywhere you go. Yay. But these are candy highlighters. So I just, I had to try them out and they're not actually candies. They're just like, they're packaged like a candy. And yeah, again, I will check them out at the end. So stay tuned for that. But this is what they look like. And I absolutely love them. And the pastel colors is, we love the pastel colors, okay? I'm gonna show these next two together since they kind of are basically the same notebook, but in a different style. Again, on the notebooks, again, on the notebooks. Just hear me out, hear me out. Okay, so these are what they look like. They're kind of geometric shapes and stuff like that. Very simple kind of triangle style, but look, there's more, there's more, look how cool. Does this sound like an ad? But look besties, it literally has like a binder. I feel like I'll break it, but look, look at that. It's, it's beautiful. I never seen something like this before and it looks so cool. They took off the binder, but it looks so good without a binder. Like, what is this? And I don't know, they're just really cute notebooks, but this is what the inside looks like. Again, they just have a short little color thing and lined notebook. In case you guys were wondering what the inside looks like and this one is kind of pink and navy color which I, I I don't know which one I like better I like both maybe one day I'm feeling more subtle not the shoulders dropping please shoulders and sometimes you might feel subtle and you'll be like oh theme today and that's what you get and this is what the back looks like together again kind of geometric shapes and this is what this one looks together geometric shapes yet again but yeah, these are two other notebooks that we got for back to school. I'm really excited to use them. Hopefully I won't mess them up. Put them in the notebook pile, good to go. Next item. Okay, this was everything in the first bag. Boop, there we go. Next bag, thermos. I have no clue what that is, but basically for lunches because i actually have to eat there in the cafeteria with like other humans so that'll be kind of weird if i do say so but it's just a regular thermo thermos and i decided to get it in this color because i thought it looked pretty snazzy if i do say so why is this whole thing like an ad but yeah this is just this very simple and again just for school lunches since i usually do bring my own lunch now um, but yes, that is what it is and we love it. Next thing we got are the binders. Now they had one inch binders. When I say one inch, I mean like this. So it was just a little bit bigger, but I decided to go with the half inch binder. I don't know. I usually don't take up that much space actually in my binder. And I thought that one inches would be easier to fit in my backpack since at my school, you do bring your backpack everywhere you go with you. So I got this one, this one, and I got a few others, but only in the same color. So there's not much to show here except one inch binders and very simple and hopefully I do a DIY with them and if not that is beautiful too and that is the next thing we got for back this next item on our list ah this next one is paper it is lined paper with um binder paper because it had these little holes here so yeah we just got some premium quality binder paper here for us I know you guys are quaking right now because I have premium binder paper but 200 sheets very good, very good. Another binder, which I'm just gonna put that there. Oh, don't fall, please. And that is it in this bag as well, which also writ, <laughs> next thing. Next item on our list is a lunchbox. And I wanted a cool color, but they didn't have pink. So I went with this kind of apricot orange serving vibes. And um, yeah, it's a premium quality lunchbox. It's literally just a lunchbox. What does it look like on the inside though? Let's see, let's see together. It would have been good to open it there, but this is what it looks like on the inside of the lunchbox in case you guys are wondering. And also on the top, it has this little place where you can put some more stuff. I don't know what would fit in there. Maybe like one Oreo cookie for you to snack on throughout the day, <laughs> like a mouse. But yeah, that's it. And this is my lunchbox for the school year. I very much love it if I do say so. And it also has a place for your water bottle in case you want that as well. So yeah. 
the full 360 for you all. Wait, it matches the Nate book. They match. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm. <laughs> we love it when it matches finding sets where you can't find them. Okay, this next one is another notebook, but this is a pretty special one. Okay, so first of all, it looks like this with these little inscriptions on it, and it just says notebook. Again, the back is the same as the front, just like that. But then, if you look here, see that? It has some, so there are these, but it's not like a regular one. The first pages in the book are shorter and they all have this. All of the pages have that little inscription thing. And then at the very back, we have more and this is what the next one looks like it has like this inscription thing and all of the pages are followed with it as you guys can see and yeah this is just really organized it's an organized notebook if i do say so myself and in case you guys want to like the pages somewhere or something like that or have all your classes in one thing that is what this notebook is used for normally so i decided to get it just in case i want to just go ahead and put all my classes in one notebook or something like like that just to stay a bit more organized during school as well so notebook pile that goes. and our next item is a bunch of mechanical pencils again just like a bunch of pencils and regular pencils we already had so we went ahead and get these in different colors and yeah regular pencils and stuff like that in the mechanical form pencils in the mechanical form. okay i saw these there and i was like besties we need to try these out these are scented felt tip pen set and they come in a very nice box can i just say they kind of go they're from the same brand as these are as you guys can probably see but they have all of these with scents and also the back and yes i am going to use these yes and they're just so cute that i decided to go and get them. i will test them out and tell you guys if they really smell like how they say they smell at the end i'm very excited to test these bad boys out bad boys out let me put that in the pile. Again, here we have some more pens and these are blue, yellow, green, red, pink, and black pens. And it's just always good to have some pens. I already had these and they write very, very well. I will show you guys at the end and this is the brand but they say bold and bright ink pens you gotta get that bright in there they're not only bold they are bright so yeah these are just regular pens again but we love them and they're made with plant-based materials so why do i keep making that face what is going on okay let me put those in my pen set okay can i just say we found these and this is a new brand from post-it and they looked so cute so we decided to get some to try them out or the packaging looks so cute i should say but the packaging is lovely and it's noted by post-it and they have a red and a kind of orange color this is what the back looks like but it's a three pen set and i definitely wanted to check these out so i will tell you guys what they write like at the end but they are three felt tip colored pens so again with the pens but very cute stylistic pens okay gotta get some cute ones here we go we have some sharpie pens and these are just regular pens again but at the school year we miss so much that it is very good to have some and these are just pens from the brand shark they have a little grip thing and very very lovely if I do say so so you can have a little grip and they just look like this and they write like regular pens I would think and they are available in fine 0.5 millimeters 0.7 and 1 millimeter so I don't know which these are but oh these are 0.7 yeah so we got the middle brand and we will definitely check them out and see how they write at the end this next one are amazing mechanical pencils can I just say look at the pack look at the packaging i know it'll go away but just look at the packaging i love it and this is how it looks we have a gold kind of look for them and the camera reflection oh my goodness but yeah the gold and black and gold and white look i just really like them and i'm excited to try them out these are mechanical pencils in 0.7 millimeters and strong lead very strong so there we go and that was the next bag hey um next up we got uh sharpie clear view highlighters these are just regular highlighters that kind of look cool with a clear view at the top and they are sharpie highlighters and we just got these because me and my brother always need highlighters throughout the year so it is good to have them and this is what they look like always know when to stop great and this is what they look like and i really like them and i think they look cool i had these last year and these are one of my favorites because they just write really well can i say that i still have some and 
and yeah, we got extras. Extra shimmies. Here we go. Here we go. We have more highlighters. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. These are pastel highlighters and erasable. So, you know, we got them. Okay, so apparently they have names. The pink is Wednesdays. Peach is just peachy. The yellow is catching rays. The green is good vibes only. The kind of blue is stonewashed. And the purple is live in the meow. And this is what the back looks like. And as you see, these are where the colors are and what they're called. But these are what they look like and they are erasable. And I've had two of these before, just two random pencils or highlighters that are erasable. Well, pencils are erasable, that makes sense. Yeah, I had these before and they were really cool. They do leave a little bit, but we're gonna check them out. We'll check them out. Don't worry, besties. I got you, I got you, calm down. Our next item are these pencils. And again, just regular pencils that you need to sharpen, but in a cool floral pattern. So I thought we should get some and they were pretty cheap. So we got some regular pencils because regular pencils are always good to have. Next item, we got llama erasers and there's not much to say except these are literally llama erasers and yeah, they need more cool erasers. Can I just say, but these are pretty cute and I saw them and decided to get them. There weren't many other options. So we have a llama erasers now. I know besties literally when you see the llama erasers but that is what we have and we also got a sharpener for regular pencils because yeah and it's pink and it looked pretty cool so we got a sharpener for regular pencils which is always good to have just in case because yeah i don't really want to get up in the middle of the class and randomly go to a wall sharpener like ah yeah, it's it's good ratchet mechanism and easy clean tray so we'll see how that goes totally won't lose it but we'll see how that goes next up we got glue which is just glue sticks but we already had some so we only got two of these but you know, regular glue sticks, very good to have around, but these are just Elmer's glue sticks. Also, I saw Elmer's was selling slime and I actually almost got some, but I didn't because I don't really know what I would do with it. And I found these really cute scissors there as well with the flower kind of look to them and they are pink, so I really love them. And these are the scissors for my school year that I will be getting and yes, scissors, pose with the scissors. <gasps> more erasable highlighters in another color so these these were the pastel highlighters and these are the more neon classic highlighters these are the ones i've already shown and these are the classic ones not much to say except they are in different colors and electric blush coral reef glow party mermaid wave royal majesty and mystic amethyst are the colors in these from right to left we're like right starting here. So my right and then left there. So yeah, definitely not running out of highlighters to say the least, but we love it just in case guys. Next up we have the classic ruler, which is just a wooden ruler. If I do say so, I don't know why it's not showing you guys, but I bet you guys know what a ruler is. And yeah, it's a, it's a, did it, it hit me, but this is a classic wooden ruler for anyone wondering very spicy that way next we got this very cute and pink this is like my favorite color of pink blush pink very light pink just food thing and it comes with a sandwich picture i totally bought it but this is what it looks like and we love it again for school lunches and stuff like that so i'm gonna put this to the side with the lunch pile and yeah that's basically what we next on the list we have these post-it things where you can basically mark on the binder where things are and stuff like that and these stick out of the book if you are reading a book and stuff like that as well you can write on them as they show on the back but we got them in like a bunch of different colors yellow pink purple green more pink two blues no one's teal one's teal okay besties can you see and then another purple so yeah we just got these because they are very helpful when you need something to keep you organized or even in your a notebook like your book for school that they give you for the year these are very helpful as well to remember what chapter you were on and stuff like that next up we have more erasers and these are just really cute in different colors and striped erasers that look like this just regular erasers but it's always good to have a lot throughout the year in case you run out or your eraser on your pencil doesn't work out because mine never does and these are what they look like 
very nice, very snazzy, and fancy in my opinion. Putting these with the llama erasers. Like, I feel like I love these, but I won't use them because I don't wanna, I don't wanna kill the llamas. No, like, I, I don't want that for them. So I'm just gonna put them there. And next up, we have Sharpies in the colors Mystic Gems. And we have pink, kind of, well, not teal. A very, like, dulled out gray teal, rarely teal blues and purples and these were on sale so we decided to get them. Old fine tip markers make impressive marks and they are quick drying so we love them and they are in the shade Mystic Gem. These are what the Sharpies look like and it's always good to have a few Sharpies around especially for back to school so that is what we went with and we love it. Next up we found even more highlighters but I had these before. Okay how many highlighters do I freaking have? Stop! But we'll, ne we'll never run out. We love them. This is what they look like and we needed a lot more stuff especially since last year was online for me and stuff like that but we got green, blue, purple, gray, and red and these are from Mild Liner Creative Markers Find Zen Zebra brand thingamajig but this is what they look like a little zebra on the side but yeah I really love these and I've had them before and I definitely recommend them we'll be trying them out at the end as well next up we got this old thing case for your pencils and it is just a regular case and yeah that's oh my goodness okay starting with some folders we got this one that says oh hi in a light pink, which I really like the light pink, so I decided to go for it. And this is what it looks like on the inside, just a white polka dot with light pink texture. And we love folders, especially with the hole punches already in them for the binder. Next, you guys might be a little bit concerned, but we know we gotta get the shark for Sharky. And okay, I saw like this font and I really liked it. So this is what we got. You know, my aesthetics all over the place, but I love this one very much. This folder, oh we got dynamite, dynamite. It's all right, we got dynamite. And okay, besties, I just loved the font on this one as well. Little heart exclamation point, but we got dynamite. What's better than dynamite? Next, we have more notebooks and these are regular spiral kind of smaller notebooks and we have the pink one with kind of doodles on it which is also awesome this one that kind of has a different look to it with abstract colors and shapes and again it's just a regular spiral notebook but the inside looks like that and the back is just a regular white color like that and we love having some regular notebooks around, especially if you run out of space and need an extension for your current notebook. This is perfect for you, notebook pile. Next up is another one of those notebooks, and this is one of my favorites from that. I love this style of notebook for some reason. The front looks beautiful, and this is what it looks like. Again, a regular simple spiraled just notebook that is smaller. I love this design on it, besties. Can we just admire it? So I will put that in the notebook pile as well. Okay, this next one is a big boy notebook, but basically you guys have probably seen these all around, but it is from Five Star and they have these little manila dividers inside them. And I thought this would be nice for if I have math, I can write in the first one, then take out the page and put it in a binder using the um, plastic clear covers and stuff like that. But this is just what it looks like. Again, a regular kind of notebook and this is what it is on the back we have that of course but five star i think it's like a classic school brand but we're putting that in the notebook pile good to go we have definitely a lot of folders to say the least but i found a bunch of cute ones that match so i had to go ahead and snatch them for back to school but so this is the first folder i got it kind of looks like astrology very beautiful and i decided to get that one we have another one with this pattern and different colors which is awesome. And then we have these more abstract, colorful ones. And this one matches the notebook that was shown before. So of course we have to get the set. And here we go with more. We have pink and orange one, and this pink and orange one with kind of a tile look. It reminds me of tiles. And this one with the more wave look. And again, just really cute and colorful items for school, which we love about that as well. A notebook in the same pattern with the kind of face doodles. 
and the pink look. This is what it looks on the inside. And of course, the back has the same. It is a hardcover notebook and you can rip the pages out, which is very nice and is just a smaller notebook compared to some of the other ones we have. So it's always good to have. Next, I saw these and I love giraffes. So I decided to get the giraffe one. Then there was also a pink sloth one. So we just went with the flow and got them. And these are what they look like. They're again, just regular notebooks that look like this with a cute pattern and on the back as well. And the inside, they kind of feel weird. Like the texture is good given some plastic vibes. But this is what the inside looks like, just like this. And again, I just love giraffes, so I had to go with that and sloth was pink so had to go with that one too next we got this 90 percent off notebook because it is a 2020 to 2021 planner and it was only a dollar so we decided to go with it it is so cute look at the pages i love it and the style is just magnifique and this is what the back and front look like we have polka dot not me peeking through the corner but we have polka dots on either side and yeah it's a 2021 to 20 no 2020 to 2021 planner so it is a bit on sale for that reason but I really love it and I think that it looks really cute and we're not done. I love the style of this next notebook but the front and back both have the same look to it. Again with kind of the eye abstract and metallic. This one has rose gold. This one has a rose gold binder to it which is really cute and metallic. We love it and that's what the front looks like as well as the inside this is a regular kind of lined paper notebook so that is really good how many do we have oh my goodness okay next up these were very cheap notebooks for like 25 cents and these only happen at the beginning of the school year so we got it in red and gray for one of the notebooks we have another one for red and black for one of the notebooks and of course we had to go with the classic just a dark black color for the notebook and you guys could see the light on it but yes these are just very nice notebooks and they're very cheap, so we love them. And this is what they look like on the inside as well. And they're always good to have some extra notebooks throughout the year, and you can DIY them. We had to think of that, besties. We had to. But yeah, that is what we got. We also have, and find it, but definitely besties. Let me know what you think of this or what's your favorite item of this haul down in the comments down below. And yeah, I forgot to mention one thing and these are the notebooks I forgot to mention. Basically, these are how tiny they are. They're kind of small notebooks. This is one, wait, let me show one, but they're, really pretty if I do say so myself. Look at that. I love the art on them and they are small kind of like to-do list notebooks and stuff like that but this is the first one. It has butterflies and these were in packs of threes so I thought it was pretty good and here's another one so they were all in a pack together and they are just lined like that so kind of simplistic and here is another one and another one beautiful we got the pineapple one too but these two are probably my favorite as you guys can see they were in a pack and stuff like that and yeah that's all i needed to say and let's get into showing off the actual things and how they write and how they work and showing you guys the pens the highlighters how they work and how they look so let's go Okay, so I'm gonna be testing them out on paper so you guys can kind of get a feel for what they are like. And the first ones we're going to test out are these more than magic kind of candy highlighters. So let me just open it real quick. And this is what they look like and very cool, very cool. Let me just uh, scooch them over there real quick. And this is how you open them, I think, if we go like that. And they are a highlighter. And you can just go ahead and highlight. I'm not used to it just because of like the angle. Besties, the angle is kind of strange to highlight with these, but. So I undid all of the highlighters and now we'll be testing these erasable ones from Crayola. And they look like this and they have an eraser apparently at the end and color at the top. So you guys can see that. And let's test it out, besties. Okay, I'm gonna go this way so you guys can actually see. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's really satisfying. Okay, um, let's try another one. That was from the pastel set. And this is from the neon more original set. So let's see if we can, there we go. And erasing it. 
this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. That is so satisfying. I just love seeing it erase. And that is what it looks like. I think if you do erase it, you won't be able to use the same highlighter over it because it is erased. See, it doesn't really work. So um, if you do use those and erase it, you won't be able to go back over it. But here we go with another highlighter. These are the Sharpie clear highlighters and we're going to test this out. Wait, uh, okay, besties, just hang tight. Yes, I love it. It's kind of neon and stuff. And here's another one from the same pack in a different color and this is green. Okay, but that does not look like the same color green. This looks like way, way brighter than this. I love it though. And I kind of, I kind of prefer the color that it writes as. And here's the blue. Okay, those are probably the most vibrant so far. Like these are kind of dull in comparison to these. These are like really neon colors. I love them. And then over here, we got these highlighters, which are just a mild liner apparently. And we are going to test them out in another section of the paper because we're not, we're not gonna not. I really like that. Like it's not piercing bright, but it still writes really good. And here is the green. That's interesting. Wait, besties, look. Okay, you see this color green? It's like super, super neon and stuff. But then this, guys, look, it's super neon on the pencil, but then it writes not neon. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like, oh, wait, I see it. Look, and you have a highlighter. That's awesome. Okay. I really like these highlighters, but so far I think these original ones are probably my favorite. Although some have pretty cool features like the two tip ones and also the erasable ones. These are definitely my favorite. But now I'm going to test out the pens in different colors. Here are the first pens that I'm gonna be testing out and these are by Noted by Post-it. So let's see. These are what the colors look like. And I only got three of them because I don't know, like why do they make it so? But this is what it looks like very very sleek and okay well this is what the inside looks like hopefully you guys can see it okay and now i'm gonna write something hello okay my handwriting has sucked from back to school but i think these don't bleed through the paper which is really nice and it doesn't bleed through the paper so i mean if you guys want to check it out i would write something else so they don't bleed through the paper again and i just really like it to be honest and it comes in three different colors if you get the package so it's three Whee! awesome wow pens okay these next i'm actually excited to try these are the scented pens and this is what the box looks like and I'm just going to open them real quick and see what if they're actually scented because I will be excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, why is that so close? This is what they look like. Which one? We're going to try the grape. Actually, yeah, grape. Grape usually has like a huge smell. I can already smell them. Jeez, besties. Okay, and this is what they look like. They look like a regular marker would, kind of with a finer tip. Oh my gosh, this smells like grape. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, it, you know what grape smells like? It, it doesn't smell like grape. It smells like medicine grape. Like you guys know when you get medicine that's in the taste of grape, that is exactly what it smells like. Let's see. This one is supposed to be mint okay let's see not bad it doesn't really smell like mint it smells more like refreshness okay now let's try another one not me just going through all these it's fun okay besties it's fun what's this one jasmine oh that's interesting okay jasmine smells so good oh i feel like this could be a freaking perfume and this is how it writes it just writes like a regular marker in my opinion but it smells so good besties like you can just catch a whiff and a sniff throughout your school day It'll be so good. You can see some of them are sparkly and some are regular. And then we have the neon ones. So let's test these out. Here is the sparkly green and the cap is just sparkly. So I assume it's sparkly. Like what am I supposed to do? And they have a really nice grip. Not gonna lie. Okay. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, these are so good. They write really smooth. I love the neon one. I love all of these pens. Oh my goodness. I will definitely use these for notes as well. And I really like them besties, not gonna lie. I think I think it's worth it. And the whiff ones are really good too. I like I like that. Yes. And of course, we have to test out regular Sharpies because why not? They have beautiful colors. And we're going to start with this one, which is the deepest blue in the pack. 
So let me go ahead and write. If I do say so myself, one's a bit more green. And then of course we have the most green one, which is kind of like teal, but more toned out teal. And that's what it looks like. And those are all of the Sharpie markers. So those are all the markers that I will be testing out. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want me to test them out more, let me know. And yeah, that's basically what I got for the markers and pens and highlighter section, which is actually quite a lot. We also have llama erasers, which I decided to take out just to show you guys in case you want a llama in your life. And this is what they look like. Again, just a llama eraser. Like there's not much to say, it's a llama eraser. And we have pink. Bye everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it inspired you to get some ideas of what you might want for back to school and leave your favorite item down in the comments down below. I hope everyone enjoyed and have an amazing day as always. And thank you so, so much for watching. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Hey. <laughs>